It's going to be uh, playing 60 minutes as a whole team uh, instead of playing uh, 50 or 45 minutes uh, like we did in the past two games, I think. And uh, it should be a good game tonight. I just continue moving the puck. Um, obviously, I uh, want to distribute the puck and enjoying the rush. And, uh, I think that's part of my game is, is uh, joining the rush and, and being a part of the initial uh, attack and uh, and then you know continue to work on my defensive game. We have to take away the ability to play 60 minutes and we haven't been able to do that so far. And, uh, our second period, we've had a, a little lapse of, uh, of emotion and and uh, that's that's hurt us in the first two games. You know we're we're one one here, and I think that uh, you know we would rather be two zero. Um, um, personally, it's, it's playing center, and I enjoy that. Um, you know having that uh, responsibility. So so far so good. But uh, I think that coming in tonight, we just got to play a full sixty. Yeah, I mean I, I think it works out great. I think everybody wins because um, you know with me living in Grand Rapids, you know it's kind of where I'm. Uh, spend my post-retirement years for the most part and to have a pro hockey team in town I, I think is is uh, it seems like a pretty natural fit you know and, and then it's a bonus it's a, a Detroit's team a team I was originally drafted by so I think I think I could be like a good little a good story for some of the players to show them you know the draft pick and, and going on and and having a, a you know a thousand game career and and uh, kind of how you go about things and try try and you know talk to guys give them a little input here and there about life and hockey and and you know taking care of yourself those little things but uh, you know it's been a great experience to learn the game I, I wish as a player I feel like I've learned already more now you know than than, than I than I did as a player at times so it's been a, it's been a great fit so far I'm looking forward to uh, the upcoming season there. I think you know when I, even when, when I started out as a player and went to my first pro camp probably in 1995 with the Red Wings I mean, it seemed like the old, you know, the teams were built older, they were constructed older, and the guys seemed to just, they weren't necessarily the best athletes all the time, but they just kind of had a knack to play hockey. And now guys are, are terrific athletes. I mean, they're explosive, they can jump, they, you know, they're tall, they're, they're in great shape all the time, they, they eat well, they take care of themselves, they do all, their, all the right things. And, and, and so that's a, that's a big difference. And then you throw in the development camps, you know, uh, in, in July, and you throw in this prospect tournament, it's just a great opportunity for young players to come in. Because I think when you're a young player, like when I was a young player, like you're just thrown in the main camp. And all of a sudden it's like you're just like floundering, right? You're, like, you're, you're just thrown to the wolves a little bit. So here they get used to the system. They meet people. They, they feel comfortable. They know how it works. They know the terminology coaches are using. They know what coaches, um, you know, what they expect out of them. And most importantly, they, work, they, they learn how hard they have to work every day to be a pro.